Hello everyone. Welcome to your YouTube channel, A Project Ideas. Today we are going to make a C++ project from the bookshop management system. So without much delay, we'll look at the requirements of this code. Firstly, an IDE is required for running and compiling the source code. Secondly, a text editor. You may use any text editor, but the recommended ones I've already mentioned here. These are code blocks or VS code. Thirdly, an operating system. Again, you may use any operating system as per your choice, but the recommended ones are Windows 10 or any other latest version. So we'll be moving towards the code part right now. Here you can see we have included all the header files. Then we have included the standard line named using namespace std. Then we have the class attribute named book data, where we have certain character arrays named books number, book name, and author name. And we have int number of copies. In the public access specifier, we have a function named get book details, where it asks us to enter the details of the desired book which we want to purchase, like the book's number, the book's name, the author's name, and the number of copies of the desired book. Then in the next function, we have the show book data where it asks us to enter or it displays the book number, the book name, the author's name, and the copies. Basically, whatever you have inputted in the previous function, the same thing is displayed here. Moving to the next slide, we have the modify book data. Here, it asks us to modify or to make any changes to the book's information. First, it displays the book number and it asks us to change the book name. Like it asks us some suggestions to modify the book name, the author's name, and it asks us to enter the number of copies. Then we have a character pointer named get book number here, which it returns the book's number. Then we have a function named void report where all the details and attributes of the bookstore is being displayed. Then we have the write book data function where we have a file named book.dat where all the transactions that we are going to do in the book gets updated. It asks us to press one to add some more books to the system. Press two to go back to the main menu and it asks us to enter the choice as per our need. Moving further, here we have void display books function where we take the input as a character and array. Then the book details are being displayed here. Then again, whatever changes we are going to make, it gets displayed in the book.dat file. Then it displays the book does not exist if the book which we enter is not present in the uh, in, is not present in our database. Then in void modify book data function, here we have to enter the book number to modify the details of the book. So after entering the new details for the book, it displays that your record has been successfully updated. And if the particular record is not found, then it displays that sorry, the record is not found. Then in the void delete book data, here it gives us the options to delete the book. It asks the author or the reader to enter the book's number which you want to delete. Again, I said this in all the videos that if you want to delete something, you need to have a backup for that. For that reason, we have the temp.dat file where any backup or anything which we are deleting, the backup gets stored here. Next, if the book which you want to delete, which you entered is not found in the database, then it displays that the record is not found. Next function is void display all books. Here, all the books which we have inputted gets displayed. If by any means that particular book is not present, then it displays, sorry, your file can't be opened. Or else the book number, book name, author, and the copies gets displayed. Here, the intro function. In the intro function, a beautiful screen will appear on your screen asking you to enter your choice as per your need. Like press 1 to purchase a book, press 2 to display the books. Press 3 to check the availability of the book in the store. Press 4 to modify book records. Press 5 to delete the book records and 6 to exit. So you have to enter the choice as per your need. Then you have to enter press 6 to exit. Then here, accordingly, which option you select, accordingly the particular function will be called and your task will be done. So I hope you understood this code. Now we'll be moving at the actual code and I'll show you its implementation. Like how does it work? So this is your code. Now let's try and run it. And I'll show you how this code actually works. Here, you get the screen. 
So here, what I want to do, I want to purchase a book first. So I press one. So it asks me to enter the book number. I press one. The book name is, uh, let's say, Half Girlfriend. Half Girlfriend. So I entered it. Author's name is Chetan Bhagat. I want two copies. So what do we, I want to enter one more book. So what's the book number? Say two. The book name is God of Small Things. The author's name is Arundhati Roy. Arundhati Roy. And I want four. Oh, no, I want to so I dis I will display the books. See, these books are already present. Girl in room number one hundred. God of small things. Half girlfriend. All these books somewhere before I entered it. Then what I want to do? I want to modify the book records. So enter the book number. I press the one. This is uh Miss Maple. Agatha Christie. So by mistake, I wrote Gatha Christie. So the book name will be Miss Maple. So I want to change it. Author's name is Agatha. Agatha Christie. Number of copies I require is one. So the record has been updated. So now let me display. See, it's a, it is Agatha Christie right now. So now what I want to do? I want to delete. So the first book I want to delete. So record has been deleted. Let me check. See, Miss Maple is absent here. So and there is a availability function. So here I choose three. The book number one. So this book does not exist because now I deleted it. Again, let me check. It's not present. Again, I want the book number two. So here this is God of Small Things. It's written by Arundhati Roy. And I have two. Actually, I entered two of this. This is present here. So I hope you understood the working of this code. For more fresh ideas, keep watching our channel. Thank you and have a fine day.